Hey you guys, I'm back in business and um, I thought I would hit it off um, after my vacation with a, a Sky Trail video. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while. I have, I, I beat 3.5 um, actually a while ago and um, and I had been putting off doing more because I wanted to do a video and, um, and I've been doing this exhausting thing which is doing a uh, um, Necropolis every day, so I was just kind of like, it, it was just enough PvE for me, but now I'm very motivated to do this, um, so yeah, let's get going. Uh, one note is that I won't have a gem event or, uh, clothing event videos today. When I got back, um, my audio was pretty messed up, and so some of the, the footage for all of that got just ruined, <laughs> so we'll just start over next month, but, um, for now... We'll stay like this. I'm at about 148 KBR with um with uh with Hercules on right now, and um and I do like him for PVE stuff. Um, here it's just going to depend um you know whether I use Aegis or I use Hercules is mostly just um it depends on which Sylph I'm using. So I'm gonna take my troops off. And this is something I recommend um, to everyone, which is to just go in without troops and uh, and build up your rage and, and awakening. Um, so here I must have had full rage from something before, but um, when you switch your pets on and off, awakening goes away. So I'll just do this once for the video and for the rest of them. Um, I will build this up, but I'll probably edit it out just to to uh to shorten the videos but um I, I would definitely try this um I, I would do it with the most difficult boss unless that one really kills you quickly because even here i can tell that i'm going to be able to beat this one just because it's not hitting me very hard um as far as skills go i really like this setup um there might be an occasion where i should go and put a a, a BL in, but I haven't found one. For the most part, if I need to heal as much as needing a, a, a blessed light, um, I'm probably going to die anyway, or not be able to, well, yeah, die anyway, because cause I can't kill them quickly enough, and they rage up to, you know, a thousand percent and just wipe me out. Okay. So, that's good. Um, I guess I can do 3-5 once, just for the sake of of, of showing it. Um, I feel like so often, I, I before, I, I didn't have enough material to show um, doing this. So, yeah. Maybe I just do this once. Um, so here I like to use the technique to get double hits as well. So I'm just going to lead with Thunder, see if I can get a slow. If not, I have a Maya rune. I do get a slow. Actually, I'm going to mire anyway. Let's just go into go into Sylph. I'm guessing I'm going to need to use my my pet twice. There we go. So I'm basically queuing skills. Um, I do have a blog post that la lays out how to do this um, for pretty much anything. It's it's a, it's under World Boss. Um, or it's at least something you can do in World Boss, but let's see here. Feeling a little shaky about health. So I'm just going to, to heal up first. So now AFK chooses a skill. Hmm, did not crit heal, so... But well, that's okay. When you when you have Centauria on and and you do these double hits, you you pick up that those six percent ticks pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm actually feeling kind of shaky about these about the health. This boss does hit very very hard. The the boss is after it. Are much easier from from what I can tell. There we 
go. Ow. Okay, this is shaky, I'm surprised. I thought I recall this being pretty easy. Come on. Please get that heal in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now I feel a bit better. Um, there's no point in trying to do something like like build up rage for the next one. I can just do it in, in a separate turn. Um, getting attempts for for Sky Trail at like a dime a dozen. Um, since since you get the celestial stones from from uh, from the horns, so I have hundreds of those. So really, you're much more limited by um, whether or not you can actually beat the bosses than than how many attempts you have. There we go. Oh, I can hear a little lag in the audio. So still an A, a rating on that. Um, my damage taken is just way too high. I might be able to try and do it with a Guardian Rune at some point, um, which would re reduce the damage taken, um, which is uh, which which would be good. Um, but yeah, uh, eventually as the, the levels get harder, um, it's actually this this damage taken. Uh, assessment that is is much more difficult, especially for mages who don't have shields and um, and a lot of things are, that reduce the damage taken. We deal with with um, that type of stuff with heals, um, whereas whereas the other classes um, uh, address things by um, by by reducing the damage taken. So um, so I'm just going to build up my rage again. All right, so this one should be fun. It's a water boss, and I have an Electro pet, so the damage should be pretty good. I think I'm just gonna lead with Damnation this time. Um, often I try and, I, and get that slow proc from the from uh, Thunder, but I think in this case, I'm feeling at least relatively confident about this boss. Yeah, the hits are much better than last time. Um, in general, the dark and light bosses, uh, which which come every every five bosses, tend to be very very difficult. Um, it's similar to Necropolis in that way. Necropolis or catacombs, not the cat that not that most people struggle with catacombs anymore. Um, but but yeah, ne Necropolis every five levels is quite difficult. But actually, catacombs have some bosses in between that are. That are very very tough. So um, so that maybe that's not a, a great comparison, but here people really really struggle with 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 the dark and light bosses, understandably. In the case of the dark bosses, I'm not sure Apollo is a, is a great choice just because Apollo um, Apollo is the counter to to the dark pets, um, because because it deals uh, light damage, but um, it's not a great single target pet. So I think most people would would probably opt to use to use Hercules, but against um, but against the light bosses, if you have Hades or have Aegis, um, that's probably a good choice. Um, uh, Hades and Aegis fare pretty well as far as single target damage goes and um, and also it does a lot of damage to to light bosses okay awesome so I just got an S assessment um, so I'm I'm up to I believe six of these uh, water star tiers um, so if I feel compelled to make uh, to, to, to refine Iris, I'll be in good shape for that. Um, at this point, I'm not refining any more sylphs. I'm actually thinking about doing Medusa next, so the wind one. So it'd be, it would be good to be able to get some more 
wind ones, but I have an abundance of these star tier shards because I got pretty aggressive about God's Descent, and um, I've, I've won that on my server uh, twice now, so I have quite a bit of materials. Okay, start up this fire one. Um, here I'm going to, to use Hercules. Um, if it turns out that that's not a great idea, because I think fire fire does have some resistance against um, Electro, then I'll then I'll switch to Aegis and see how that goes. But I think um, Hercules is such a such a, a great PV um, pet. Um, unfortunately, in some ways, from what I've heard, you need. Um, Dark sometimes and and Hercules other. Uh, the reason why uh, Aegis is another great option for PVE situations is because of its Devour Soul skill, which um, it's basically like blood an archer's bloodthirsty. So it really really helps. I'm realizing this is a uh, a back row attacking boss, which I, I didn't think about. Um, it AoEs and does back row hits. Oh, I'm lagging. Quite bad. Don't know what's going on. It's just fine earlier. Alright, so AFK is choosing damnation, which is not totally ideal. But I'll, I'll live. Just restore and uh, go into self. And use my Maya rune. Um, looks like I'm in good shape, unless uh, something surprising happens, where maybe this boss um, rages up to a thousand percent really quickly and kills me all of a sudden. Um, that might be bad, but otherwise, I think I'm in good shape. Actually, nicely timed to get an S assessment here. Uh, to get an S assessment, um, you mostly have to control the damage taken. And then um, sometimes it helps to overkill a little, uh, which if I get a crit here, no, yep, no. Um, I should be in good shape. Yep, so I got an S assessment. That's exciting. So I should have um, six of these fire t star tiers as well. And, um, and a good chunk of gold, wow, 2.9 million. And um, so that's nice. Um, I've been working on astrals lately. Um, since I'm, since I'm now done with my 80 gear. Alright, so I'm a little bit confused. The last one was a fire boss. And this one, yeah, so it's fire. And this one says it's wind, but I was just charging up the rage, and it said that it was a fire boss. So, a little confused. Is it going to be okay? Oh, that's just a bug. Well, now I have a recording if I need to send a ticket. Um, again, using Hercules. Maybe not the greatest idea if this is actually supposed to be wind. Um, but I can always adjust and, um, and use Aegis next if I fail. These little goblins tend to be some of the ha hardest hitters in this game. Um, for whatever reason, these... Little guys hit very hard. Also, warlocks tend to hit very hard. Um, I think this is primarily a, a physical damage boss, though. Whereas uh, warlocks deal high magical magical uh, attack. Did I miss the Maya rune? If so, that's a little embarrassing. No, I didn't. Yeah, maybe it just felt like I did. So I'm going to do a thunder because right now I don't have that um, 30% slow on, and I'd like to get the 100% the slow, which I got it, which is very nice. Um, life is so much easier when you have a Maya rune because uh, once once you level it up enough, you have a guaranteed uh, 
um, skill that will slow. It's particularly nice for mages. Um, but, uh, but if you don't have a Maya rune, then you really have to be aggressive about trying to get as many Thunderers as, as possible uh, to try and get those slows to proc. Actually, that was a pretty decent crit. I feel like I am doing quite a bit of damage, um, despite using an Electro Pet. So, I don't know if... if... Well, we'll see. I guess the easiest way to, to tell if, if this is a bug is uh, which type of Star Tier Shard I get if I get an S Assessment. But that's only if I get an S Assessment. Um, it doesn't look like I got it. Okay, so damage taken was a little too low. Same with damage inflicted. Um, okay, well, <laughs> I guess I can try that again an an another time and see which uh, star tier it, it drops if I get an S assessment. But um, it's a little confusing. I think it's a really supposed to be a, a win boss since since it says so here. But um, but yeah. All right, next one is Electro, an Electro boss, um, and Electro elementals have have really high electrical uh, resistance. So I think I'm gonna just try and use Aegis now. Switch up my pet. I have so much more HP with this pet. The difference is like like nearly 50k, not quite, because um, I haven't filled up the Sepulchrum in in my Hercules. All right. All charged up. I just lead with Thunder this time. Honestly, I don't think it makes a huge difference whether I start with Thunder or Damnation, so I just kind of flip flop. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. It's not me to lead with Devour Soul. I haven't taken any damage yet, so there's no point in healing. But that's okay. I won't cry about it too much. That hit wasn't too hard, but that was looks like just like a basic attack. I'm guessing that he's going to do something eventually that hurts a bit more. Okay, so now I'll use Devour Soul. Cancel, and, and while I cancel I can already press AFK actually. Um, so my next attack is already chosen by the computer. Get that heal rune in and a Centauria. Oh, lost my my blinking. There we go. So when it comes to uh, getting these double hits, rage control is, is a big thing. Oh, so I think he just used his ultimate on me. That did quite a bit of damage. Took about maybe a third of my HP or somewhere around there. So this time I think it's reasonable to, <laughs> to start out with Devour Soul. I'm going to try and time it so that I get my, my ultimate attack um, to, to overkill him a little bit. Looks like timing wise I'm in pretty good shape. So I'm gonna do a basic attack. And then maybe try and get a devour soul in. Ooh, cutting it a little bit close. And now do an ultimate to, to try and get an S assessment on the damage inflicted. And I didn't take a lot of damage either, so this boss was uh, quite manageable. Um, not too tough. To to beat anyway. Okay, well, this damage inflicted has been has been tougher, maybe probably since um since since level three, um, so I didn't get uh, quite enough damage, and I took a lot more damage than I thought I did. I I should do that with a guardian rune. Um, maybe I can do another video eventually. I I mean I'm not in a huge rush to 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 be able to get these these S assessments, but um, maybe I'll come back and 
in another video and um, switch up my runes trying to to um, maybe switch out my heal and go with with a guardian rune and instead but for now um, I like the heal and um, guardian rune requires a little more more um, thinking through because you want to use it when the when the boss is using their ultimate attack, so I'm gonna have to pay attention a little bit more um, when when the alts are, are, are used. So um, I'll do that for another video, but for now I'll just keep going and see how many I can I can beat, whether it's A or S assessment. All right, I have a feeling there's a chance I'm gonna <laughs> fail this. People have told me that I should be able to beat 310, which of course is a little bit of pressure, um, but uh, I'm just gonna give it a go. Um, just with Aegis on, I'm taking a lot of damage, even though I have quite a bit of light resistance. Um, so I didn't even make it to full awakening when, when I was, when I was charging things up, but it, it should be full in time. Again, using Devaris. I'm just too prone to using that. Oh, actually, he did some damage against me, so it's not total loss there. It's very hard. Again, these goblins tend to do a, a lot of damage, and um, and he's also a light boss, which is um, which just means I, I'm going to take a lot of damage because I have a dark pet on, but also I'll, I'll deal more because uh, um, what just happened? Why don't I use Devour Soul? Uh, all right. But yeah, so taking out a ton of damage because um, a very low light resistance on right now. Um, when I'm not in class wars, I do I do keep um, light resistance crystals, but um, but that's mostly just to to not have minus 200 light resistance. Um, it's not like my my light resistance is good um, having all those crystals. See, I get a damnation in and a mire, and then use devour soul and hopefully get a nice crit to 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 heal back some of this. And I didn't crit. Um, so hopefully this slow is doing its job, and um, and I don't take too much damage. Um, I didn't catch it because I was actually paying attention over here, but it looks like um, my regeneration astral just helped me out. Because uh, I look back and I had more health than, than I did before. So I'm, I'm thinking it was that astral. It's really, really nice. Um, can, uh, can do a lot of good things. Oh, and my illusion just, just uh, proc, so that's... Even better. I don't like going in with, um, uh oh. I was just about to say, I don't like going in with Guardian Angel for these PvE things. I didn't kill him fast enough, and, um, and so he charged up a thousand percent. But I think I can manage this somehow. Alright, I actually just tried one real attempt with this and, um, and was failing pretty badly because the lag was so bad. So I charged back up instead, and, um, now that I think about it, I don't know why I haven't used any pots. Um, there's no reason for me not to um, have a few here. So, um, yeah, just use some little stuff. Definitely some attack. Um, usually they do mixed damage, so maybe I'll take both of these defensive scrolls. Crit, troops, and physical attack, whatever. Um... Okay, that's good. Let's see how this goes now. So I'm gonna try and keep my um my my first self awakening a little bit shorter this time. Before I used a bunch of skills, and I think I was wasting my time with um with too many basic attacks that don't do as much damage. 
So now I'm going to do four or five attacks and then get out. Come on. Oh, I did not think I was going to double hit with Devour Soul, so that's kind of a pity. Um, so I did that too early. Should have used my ultimate attack and then done Devour Soul. But um, I'll know better next time. Didn't get a slow proc with Meyer that time. Uh, not Meyer, sorry. Thunder. So I'm going to try another one. But I do need to gain some rage and um, probably need to, to use a restore pretty soon. And go back into my, my Sylph Awakening relatively soon. Yeah, actually I might as well just go now. Um, if I were... We're using Hercules at the time. I um, I would be more concerned about getting to full health um, before going into the Sylph Awakening. But because I'm I'm using Aegis, I, I know I can fall back on this uh, Devour Soul skill and um, get a good chunk of health from that. In Pv in PvP, you can't always re rely on Devour Soul to get. Um, a lot of HP, especially if there's like a knight in front or something, um, you won't deal enough damage to heal well. But in PvE, it's, uh, it's, it's quite reliable. So maybe I was actually too brief at the beginning. Because now I'm finding, I thought I was going to end on my, my, my Sylph Awakening. Mostly a learning process with these. Please crit heal and no. That's just asking too much, isn't it? Well, let's see if I can get a three. Oh, nope. Uh, well, the slow just went on, I think, but. Oh, well. Okay, I'm getting very, very close. Um, so I think I can do this. Okay, let's try this again. I am doing all of these for the first time, except for 3-5, um, with all of you on video. So, so there's a little bit of a learning curve with some of these bosses to figure out what you need for them. Um, but I think it's worth kind of going that pro through that process on video. So I'm going to get try and get uh, two Devour Souls in. So just basically five big solid hits. Or I might end up having to be six because I might have to do one uh, basic attack, shadow strike. That's okay. Now I really want to get out after this attack. So that felt like a pretty good round. I'm going to use this heal rune even though it's, it's, I, d I don't need a ton of, of health back. But I don't want my, my, my Maya rune to be too far be uh, behind. Uh, you do have a 20 second cooldown between, um, between runes. Oops, I did not have enough range for thunder. That could have been bad. I almost lost my double hits. like to get a thunder or or a damnation in before before going into sylph mode but I think I had a uh, a lightning bolt that was queued so I didn't manage to, to get one of those in and I wanted to go into into sylph mode as immediately as possible So this is really where you deal so much damage. Oof, no crit there, that was tiny. Not good. Oh, 
Oh, I'm still doing basic attacks. I actually still have a, a Devour Soul that I can use. So this should do it. Very nice. So obviously no S assessment there. I take way, way too much damage. Um, so yeah, so I got an A assessment with, with damage inflicted. Um, you can get an S assessment actually with two A's. Um, I, I have seen it before, but uh, usually you need an A and an S or two S's to get an S assessment. And here I just take too much <laughs> damage taken. I got a C there. Um, so basically just barely a passing grade. Um, so there, I get two more horns because of uh, because I, I I've cleared um, L3 now. Um, so that's nice. I'll take those. Should get 12 a day now. And I just got my uh, map clearing bonus, which is 3 million Daru, uh, 40 sands, and 60,000 kyanite. 60,000 kyanite. Not that impressive, but um, but the sands are very nice. Okay, so um, now on to L4, which is pretty exciting. I have a, um, a a water boss here, so maybe I'll switch to her try Hercules first. Um, just because it's a water boss doesn't mean that Hercules is automatically better than, than Aegis. If I take a lot of damage, um, then Aegis might be a, a better bet. Um, but I'll still at least start with Hercules. Okay, so I did a slightly lazy job charging up um, my my awakening points there. I might need to use two skills before I can awaken. But I'm not sure it's going to make a huge deal. This guy seems to be doing a ton of damage, though. I have no water resistance other than whatever um, Hercules gives me. So I'm a little bit concerned. I'm getting beat up. Alright. Let me just get out of here. And I'm going to switch to Aegis. I do think I can beat this. I'm not sure if it's going to be today. Um, it's probably going to take a little bit of um, fussing around to figure it out. But we'll at least make a good attempt at it. Alright, so I changed all my light resistance crystals to um, to water, and I'll see if that helps with the damage taken. I feel like it's not going to do much, to be perfectly honest. Let's get my Maya rune going. Let me start with awe for once. And get Devour Soul. Devour Soul is a great skill. If it doesn't crit, it's not fantastic. It's not very good with something like a Will Destroyer build. Um, really, you want to be able to crit those attacks. And um, and when you do crit, you get a lot of, of health back from, from it. Do you really need to be able to... Right, never mind, just die. Alright, trying again after the last one was a bit of a miserable uh, a bit of a miserable failure. These are very tough. I switched to one astral. Um, I took out my deflection and put in and put in uh, PDF instead. I feel like these are physical attack hits. Which might be another reason why I'm taking so much damage. My poor little mage. It's not hold up well against physical attacks. It also seems to attack very, very quickly, even with a Mire rune on. Um, often with a Mire, I can, I can get. Uh, definitely double, but sometimes even even triple attacks in, and uh, this does not seem to be the case here. 
Um, at best, it seems to be two. Oof, ow. Crit heal. No, what happened? <laughs> uh. Oh, I even did crit heal, and I only crit like half my health. Not even. Okay. So I do feel like there's a way for me to beat this, but at the moment, I haven't figured out what it is. So, uh, one, recommendations are welcome. I'm always open to advice. Please be polite. I, do, I, I, I take criticism quite well, um, but I don't like it when people are rude. So uh, if you have any friendly advice about how to beat this, that's fantastic. Please give it. But yeah. Otherwise, I think this is for an, a rainy day. I'll go ask around to some friends, um, and once I figure it out, I will be happy to, to do another Sky Trail video. Um, so for now, I hope you guys enjoyed being able to, to see some of this. I'm glad I'm finally able to do some of these levels. It took me a really long time to uh, get to the point where I could beat 3-5. I'm, I'm not built uh, perfectly for, for, for PvE things, so um, take care you guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a very good day.